it's and yeah thank you Yuchi, for sharing the text today's story is number 47 the man who had everything what is happiness american wallace h carruthers 1896 to 1937 invented nylon a revolutionary new textile that was soon used to produce stockings of dramatic resiliency. His employers at DuPont rewarded their brilliant chemist with exceptional treatment. For as long as he lived, wherever he traveled, and whatever five-star restaurant he chose to eat in, the company agreed to shoulder the cost. Undoubtedly, they were happy to do this if it kept their star employee from being wooed away by other firms. If he became disgruntled and leaked the secret of nylon manufacture to a competitor, they would suffer a devastating loss. The cost of a lifetime of travel and fine dining must have seemed a small price to pay. Despite this, promise of a life of ease, Carruthers killed himself at the young age of 41. In a tropical country, an American scolded a native who spent all his time napping under a palm tree. Stop being so lazy, he lectured him sternly. Why don't you get a job and make yourself some money? What would I do with money? Save it in the bank, and before you know it, you'll have a big pile. What would I do with a big pile of money? Build a fine house for yourself. Then, if you made more money, you could have a villa. You could go out in the garden and nap under a palm tree. I already am napping under a palm tree. What is human happiness? The American in the story above expounds the view promoted by humanity in general. Carruthers' story clearly demonstrates the futility of this philosophy. Okay, very good. Yeah, this is uh, really thought-provoking. Uh, two stories here side by side. Um, yeah which is, you know, deep down, many people believe kind of blindly that the more money they have, the happier they're going to be. And however, when we see, for example, celebrities with a lot of wealth who commit suicide, like Anthony Bourdain, Kate Spade, and in this example, uh, Carruthers, then we get shaken out of that core belief we have that Money brings happiness. So what's going on here? Yeah. Or in the second story too, you know, people have the idea of working so hard so that 20 years later they can save, they can have enough money to build a house and then they can enjoy themselves. Blindly, people believing in this way, basically what they're saying is that they cannot be happy right now. Only after they go through that process of working hard, saving money, and buying the house. So it's more like a vision of happiness they have that they think it's going to bring them happiness. But we hear a lot of such stories um, that actually many people don't even you know, survive 20 years in order to reach that goal and enjoy their life with the vision they have. So in Buddhism, we need to examine what happiness really is. And uh, yeah, we need to cultivate that sense of uh, happiness, which comes from a deep sense of gratitude. Right now, here at this location, wherever we are at, whatever we're doing, how can we cultivate gratitude? So that's the Buddhist approach. Because in Buddhism, there is no tomorrow. We don't wait for, okay, tomorrow or next year, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to be happy. 
maybe it's like we're just procrastinating or we're not allowing ourselves to be happy right now because we don't know how to be happy right now. So Buddha teaches um, that if we start cultivating gratitude for the blessings we have, instead of taking them for granted, you know, the fact that we were able to get up this morning, you know, we take it for granted, but it's not something as a matter of fact. Or, you know, if when we drive and then we arrive safely, how grateful do we feel that we made it to our destination without any collisions or mishaps, um, without the need to call the road service assistance, you know, so little by little, as we cultivate gratitude, we can find that happiness now. And then, of course, if you have money to buy a house and then, you know, have more people come and get together, enjoy, share that happiness with other people, there's nothing wrong with it, obviously. Yeah, but we don't want to constantly delay finding true happiness in our heart because it's available to all people right now, here and now. It is available. But because of our own delusions or false beliefs that unless I get this, I will not be happy. Deep down, we all say these things to ourselves. So um, unless we examine that, we cannot go forward. So I think that's what the story is showing us. So good job, everyone, for being here. We will have Purpose and Meaning Lab at 3 p.m. And have a wonderful Friday. Bye.